Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel in Spiritual Tarot. Today is Thursday. <laughs> Spirit says hi. <laughs> um, today is Thursday, May 13th, 2021. And first, I have to say I'm using a brand new deck today. And I wanted to say thank you so much. I'm so excited. Uh, I went to my door. There was a package from Amazon. And I was like, did I order something? I don't remember <laughs> ordering something. I say, like, oh, it must be my son's, right? And I picked it up and it was for me, Jenny. So I opened it up and one of my viewers got me this brand new deck, Rumi. I am so excited, thank you so much. Or as my son calls you guys, um, my Taronis. <laughs> Cause I was like, I don't wanna say fan because you know, I'm just like, a, woman sitting in her house doing spiritual readings from you know messages from tarot cards so i i, I don't have fans i'm <laughs> just a regular person right so so i, I was saying like he, i was saying okay viewers right and he said or your taronis <laughs> so you guys are my little taronis so and that reminds me of that um when you're gonna give to me give to me i like taroni <laughs> My, 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 woo, Taroni, my Taroni. <laughs> I know, I, I, I suck at a singer. <laughs> That's why I'm a nurse. <laughs> nurse and a tarot reader and a healer. So anyway, thank you so much. I'm going to be using it for our message today. So I was so excited. I was like, wow, I got something. So I really appreciate that so much. But okay, we're going to go ahead and get a message from the Marumi Oracle. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in. What do you want to say, Spirit, with my new deck here? All right. That kind of sounds like a band, doesn't it? The spiritual Tro and, and the Tarunis. I <laughs> see, you stick with me long enough, you're gonna know I have like a quirky, weird, um, but sometimes fun <laughs> sense of humor. But let's go ahead and get into our message, please. Okay, Spirit, let's get this. The Spirit's saying, okay. Well, I already know you're weird. Let's just, let's just get the message. Okay, so we have Star Mother Arrakis. That's a beautiful, look at that galaxy. Star Mother Arrakis. I know this is by Alana Fairchild, so she, I love her decks, but they can be a little lengthy. So bear with me. I'm gonna go ahead um, and read this out. Okay. Oh, and by the way, I didn't get a name. It was anonymous, so that's why I didn't, on both sides, I wouldn't do that, be a, you know, unless the person said it was okay, but I really, I really do appreciate it. All right, so this card says, Star Mother Arrakis, be the king who has made his own kingdom. Be the moon that has made her own summit. How much longer will you cuckoo like a pigeon? Empty your head of all the mortal lust and become life without breath you will not call out for god anymore for you have become immersed in god rumi see that's nice right okay your star mother ericus dances with your soul on the celestial inner planes she dances in the embrace of father sky shining white and pale deep in devotion her light behind all is ericus dancing star of the heavens insights our souls to feel the rhythm of life and surrender to to it and flow in grace, stumbling and play. Like a child who thinks in one of the right steps but must move with the music and with joy. She reminds you, she reminds you to dance freely and from your heart. She reminds you that your soul is constantly dancing with the divine. What better way to connect with the joy and beauty of your soul than to mimic its movements? So dance, beloved, let your being dance. Oh, Ericus, your bright beauty penetrates even the darkest of minds to remember 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 she calls out her voice is music to our hearts you are a child of heaven you were born of real such real regal stuff dear dancing child of the stars when you suffer i send you my comfort as stars falling from the sky when you triumph my dance becomes wild and light erupts from my heart in all directions the light becomes music stirring within you with an urge almost inexplicable and yet so very deep and real to make music to create art to dance to play to be one with the joyful creative energy that dwells within you beloved okay so this is saying i don't know if i should read this whole thing 
Okay, so it says, uh, Star Child, Earth Child, Divine Creature. Your Star Mother keeps an eye on all wild games happening in the sacred playground on Earth. She will care for you, righteous and true, shining divine justice and protection. No bully shall prevail, prevail over you. No bully shall prevail within you either. No lies, deceit, or injustice shall temper your wild truths. Be demanding and claiming her love for you. Learn how to love yourself as she loves you with wild, unconditional, passionate regard. Be like the child wailing for its mother. Ma, 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 come close. Then she descends like a torrential downpour of devotional light. A tsunami of affection is unleashed. Now I'm going to try to skip through and see if there's any longer meaning to this scar. I mean, like... And should there be a cause to stand up and fight for love, for freedom, for light, for your truths of unconditional life, respected and honored, well, you shall be particularly equipped for success. When there's that war to fight, you shall be the warrior who defends the motherland, absolute in your devotion and her ways, and empowered through her vast, indefatigable, triumphant power. I hope I said that. I hope I said, I hope I said that right. <laughs> I'm sorry, my low battery light came on. All right, so here is your guidance. Lay down your old weapons for new technology awaits you. It is the most magnificent of forces that of a divine alignment of surrender to the Star Mother and her way of luminous potency. From her great vantage point, the vastest problems of our earliest mindsets are merely in need of a quick whipping by the tail of a comet. And this shall easily achieve by, be achieved by flicking a strand of her hair on poking out her tongue. In the hands of a greater being, even your deepest trials will succumb to a divine victory. Your ability to take the journey will be strengthened, and your success only a matter of the passing of time. Can you give yourself this gift, this blessing of love, power, and protection of your star heritage? We all descend from the stars, but some of us are asked to remember to acknowledge the divine heritage from which we come, and to allow that innate div divine dignity within to restore us to our path and the path here on earth. No matter how dark life on earth may seem at times when we remember our body, um, body, our holy heritage, we can also release. Ah, uh, yes, I am so blessed, held as one with a mother who shall not be deterred from great holy purpose. I shall prevail. And there's a little ritual here. It says, open your hands up above your head and say, through unconditional love and divine mercy, through the blessings of the ancient master and sages, including Brother Rumi, who loves without condition, I call upon the blessings of the stars, the remembrance of my divine heritage, and the gift of spiritual success. I call upon the assurance of my soul's triumph and the luminous embrace of the Holy Mother. I honor my soul's need for art and for expression and for creativity now from a pure and loving place within me. So be it. You have finished your sacred honoring ritual. Yes, you know what? It, it's so easy not to realize that, you know, we are, you know, one with the divine, one with the universe. It's so easy to put ourselves down, but we see that in other people a lot. So, you know, honor yourself, you know, and, and actually that keeps you in a higher vibration as well. And it makes you place, come from a place of unconditional love if we realize that. So... What a beautiful card and a beautiful deck. Again, thank you so much. Um, I didn't put tarot with this because, like I said, they're a little lengthy and I'm just getting used to them. I kind of went through them last night after I um, um, got them. I was, like, looking through them and everything. So, so um, that's your message for today. Honor yourself. You come from the stars. Your uh, beauty and you're strong. And, you know, the divine is connected through you. So that's your message. Peace.